In October 2019, members of Frederick County Fire and Rescue had the opportunity to use the SEEK thermal imaging device. This small camera was put through its paces in a series of live fire exercises and hazmat scenarios. Let's hear about the feedback for this incredible device. So I had to use the hood of my hook to turn it on. Okay. Uh, when we got in there and started comparing the meter, we had some problems. I had a temp reading at the bottom, uh, an actual reading, not just a color. Uh, Hogan, the rookie, did not. So we had to figure out how to adjust it in there. Um, I had a lot of problems with aiming and actually reading where I wanted to due to, I guess, my glove. Um, but if you turn the, the flashlight on, it points exactly where you're trying to read. And other than that, it was pretty good. It was sort of impressive, the, uh, the detail I got in a small screen. Um, but it is small. Did you have any trouble seeing it inside in like a bad, bad vis environment? No, uh, I had no problem at all. Yeah, when I at first, it. when I first went in, I, I couldn't see anything. I just had to keep wiping my mask at first. Yeah. But did you have the same trouble? Yeah, same problem. And then once we, once we got, I guess, acclimated in this other room and all that cleared up. Uh, the only thing I didn't, I had trouble with was orient myself where in the room looking at this like i'm yeah. looking at it i'm like i can see this but i couldn't tell you whether i was looking at a wall or a floor i grabbed my it took me a little bit i grabbed my mic one time by in accident. place of this because i mean yeah uh cheney any feedback you have on the device no um once you got in the room though it was super clear grab like you could pretty much see everything it's in front of the door um so it's point and shoot it's pretty easy to use i didn't have any negatives uh i, I thought it was good I, like the the size was good uh, I think the biggest thing is making sure that we have some kind of training on how to use them as a back step person. Like we talked about, with him being a lineman, right, it's good. You don't want him fixated on making sure he's on the screen versus putting a line in place. But the situation that we were talking about is if the officer needs to back away or step away to go help him do something else, he can essentially monitor conditions by himself with his own. So I, I don't think we had any negatives well you, you said something earlier about the image clarity like what were you able to see in there with the device so you can make out things very clear you can make out the objects um the one thing i did like was we can make out the helmet shields which is pretty good so as as an officer or as a, as a guy who's looking to figure out who's who you can make out the helmet devices on the screen so i was able to see that that's the captain from engine two and so you know what i'm saying the lineman from engine two versus you know wondering who people are yeah. inside of a fire and not being able to tell looking at other screens but i, I like it awesome. survey mode the fire mode okay. and the actual temp uh, i did like the color differential because it allowed me to look at like with the guys and the girls like on the line doing searches and in the <clears throat> color mode, I was able to pick up the victims faster. Oh, okay. So that's one of the things I was trying to concentrate on was being open and using the tick a lot to see how this handles. One of the downfalls, but that's with a cultural change, is having to, to look down at it versus straight out. We were used to a thermal imager looking at it straight on as we're going. Um, this one, you gotta look down, kind of like an iPhone, Palm Pilot, whatever. Uh, but just getting used to that. I, yeah. That's All right. Any feedback that you got about the device? Stuff you liked, stuff you didn't? The, I mean, oh. the fire mode was mostly what I used because trying to get it with my fingers, the gloves, just it was real hard to press the button. Uh -huh. But I was able to hit the flashlight button pretty easily. Uh, as far as the search, sliding across the floor, you know, using it in that perspective, it's pretty decent because it's already a natural kind of position for it. Uh -huh. Uh, the black and white mode, even with like the baby, the infant stuff, is pretty good. It's kind of hard with the hose dummy, but with the rest of the stuff that we pulled out, it, it was pretty easy to identify it, as well as seeing the hot spots like behind, as well as, you know, around it. Uh, this is a nozzleman, uh, like them guys were uh, removing the victim, so I hit the fire and then was able to use it uh, and not have to rely on the officer who normally wouldn't have the tick. Uh, so I use mine to see the hot spots, keep attacking the fire, any flare-ups. So from that aspect, I think it was good. I was able to use it, uh, just trying to incorporate it with like trying to do a quick search and have my tool and like work the hose line too a little bit. Okay. Um, Did you have any trouble uh, using it? Like, tell me about the device. Uh, so initially, like I, I turned it on before I went in, just so I can at least have it ready when I, if I needed it. Um, but like, still, like I just wasn't used to having it. I was kind of fumbling around. I was mistaken for my uh, lapel my, mic. Yeah. Okay. But. Um, Otherwise, I mean, it worked out pretty well, and I think I was just trying to like focus a lot on like just like look out rather than at the 
at the device itself. Device itself okay. Did when you did look at the device, how was the image quality? It was awesome. It was, I mean, crystal clear. You could see everything perfectly. Like I was when he was uh, ventilating, I was looking at the so you can see the host stream, and then Jenkins got away, and you can see like him perfectly. You can see him just really, awesome. really clear. You were on a nozzle, correct? Were you able to use the device at all? Uh, I did. I used it um, after. I extinguished the fire and I was checking like if there's any hot spots still on the burn rack and I used it when I was uh, venting too. You just like uh, Caesar said, you, temperature you could just see You it could drop. watch it drop? Yeah. And it is very clear, like everything is clear as day on that on that device. I went to use my tick when I initially uh, entered that room and uh, my uh, face piece was uh, pretty much misted over so I couldn't see anything. Okay. So then I had to go back to feeling for everything and uh, at that point after I had that first failure I didn't use it again which is kind of on me okay um, so well so you know don't blame yourself for something like to this point that we discussed prior to the evolution what training have you received on using a thermal imager aside from what we just ran through today and it wasn't even really training it was hey here's this tool try to use it uh, it worked pretty well uh, it wasn't too cumbersome to turn on or anything and surprisingly even though the buttons were small it was pretty easy to operate with a gloved hand um, I did find myself stopping a lot in my during my search pattern stuff like that just to, to use the device I guess but that's probably because it's a brand new thing right. I haven't really implemented it yet. Yeah, you, uh, how much tra tick training have you had? Zero. Tell me stuff about the device. I thought it was very detailed. I mean you could definitely see temperature changes. Uh, you could see on the walls, on the ceiling, you see it everywhere. And when they were hitting it with the hose line, you could see it start cooling down. I mean it's pretty rapid response to it. Uh, maneuverability much much easier than with normal tick. I mean, it's, what other ticks have you used? If you don't know the names, no, just one of the in there. Uh, Tell me about the device. Um, very easy to use, not cumbersome at all. Uh, I didn't really have much problem manipulating the buttons on it. Um, once you know where they are, you can kind of get a feel for that center button. You can kind of base your hand movements um, off of that center button. So um, that made it pretty easy. As everyone else said, very detailed. Uh, I had no trouble seeing it in a low vis environment. Um, uh, great to use. I try to use it before I went in the room after these guys went in to try to sweep the whole room while they were searching. Um, I could see pretty much the entire room from the doorway. Um, so, uh, like he said, I, the color the color is great for certain environments. Um, once you get a little close to the fire, uh, the color, all the red starts to blend together. So that's when I think the, the uh, fire setting is uh, a better use. But in terms of sweeping the whole room, I like do like the color setting because you can kind of pick out details more. Awesome. Oh, it was good. The uh, the visual picture was good. The clarity was good of the of the uh, the fire and the racks. Um, I didn't really play with the modes too much back and forth. Just focused on uh, color modes, um, or I, I guess fire mode is, is what it's called. Um, at times I had trouble finding it. Uh, never didn't really keep it in my hand very much, but. Uh, very similar size to our regulators on our SBA, so uh, at times I thought I was grabbing the wrong thing. Uh, but other than that, uh, I thought it was real clear. You could see the guys coming in, making the attack, um, and uh, temperature the temperature readings were real clear. And uh, I thought it was overall good product. It was clear. I saw the crews perfectly. The colors were great, like breaking it to where the temperatures were. I like let it go to do something. I was picking up my lapel mic. No, my uh, oh the console off your breathing apparatus. Yeah. Good clarity. Um, I, I initially had it in the survey mode to kind of keep the temperatures down so I can try to see if it would help identify victim locations a little bit more. Um, I found that with the fire being kind of consuming a large portion of the background kind of ate some of that clarity up a little bit uh, so with like the initial rack that we had come to had a large volume of free burning fire to it and the victim was right to my right I had a little bit of problem distinguishing that the victim was there initially until I kind of did a quick scan down and then I could dis uh, discern it the problem was a large part of the screen would had like a lot of the color change for the survey mode he went to go try to effect a rescue or a search um, kind of let me see what I was doing see how effective or ineffective it was for that matter um, I agree with him as far as the uh, small size and kind of a little it. bit mm -hmm. but I think with more reps you, you get more of a feel for where it's gonna be where it is how to orient it um, <coughs> but yeah I liked, I liked clarity I like buttons are fine I didn't have any issues with that uh, I liked it I liked how it gives everybody yeah. another 